Welcome to the 15-Minute Mentor. I'm your host, Russ Brummel. Clearly, clearly, good mentorship takes longer than 15 minutes. My aim with this podcast is to pass along things I've learned along the way. Things I talk about with you if I was your mentor and we were talking over coffee. Things I've shared with other people over coffee. So, maybe grab a coffee and let's dig in. Today's topic is something that seems pretty basic, but can be really difficult. Focusing on what matters most. Let's start with mindset. I like to start discussions like this with mindset and worldview because they're critical for what we'll talk about later. You see, here's the first thing to realize. You have things. We all have things, people, plans in our lives that really matter. I mean, like really, really, really matter. Like if they were not in your life tomorrow, it would crush you. I have them too. Some come to mind right now just mentioning this idea. But it's also true that we have things and people and plans that sort of matter, but not really. It's good that they're there, but... If they were gone tomorrow, we could probably cope. And talking about that idea, I'm sure some things, they come to mind too, and some people. And we all have plenty of things that that don't really matter. Sadly, I'd say people too. There are people in our lives that don't really matter. Um, To us anyway. We'll talk about that in a future episode. Think about it for a minute. Maybe at the coffee shop you go to, you see one of the workers pretty often, like every Tuesday and Thursday. Maybe you know their name. Maybe they know your regular coffee order. But what's the Hawaii factor here? Now, think positive. What if that person suddenly strikes it rich and moves to Hawaii? Do you miss them? How long is it before you even notice they're gone? Maybe you notice right away. After all, you see them every Tuesday and Thursday. You smile when you hear that they've moved to Hawaii and you crack a joke about it with the person who is now about to learn your favorite coffee order. But yet, by next Tuesday or maybe the Tuesday after that, they've slipped your mind. Until someone really messes up your coffee order, that is. You know... I say that to help us develop a mindset, to sketch out a worldview. Um, Some things are more important to us than others. Some plans of ours mean more to us than others. And yes, some people matter more to us than others. Now, I firmly believe that all people are equally valuable and created in the image of God who loves them. And I also believe we are finite beings. So we have a limited amount of attention. Some people are more important to us than others are. That's reality. It's not okay to say that some people are more important or valuable than others, you know, on their own, but it is okay to acknowledge the reality that some people matter more to us than others do in the moment because we're not perfect. Now, let's think for a moment about why. I think there's one big reason some things are more permanent than others. Now, I expect that my child will be in my life for a long, long time. I expect that my barista may move to Hawaii tomorrow and I'll never see him again. Now, if my child moved to Hawaii, I'd visit him. Probably not so much that barista. Here's the principle. What lasts matters. Things that last longer matter more to me than things that don't. What lasts matters. People who we expect to be around the rest of our lives matter more to our everyday lives than those we expect to be gone in a minute or a day. What lasts matters. Plans that we work on for years are important, whether I order a large or an extra large coffee, maybe not so much. What lasts matters. With that mindset, clearly some things are long lasting and very important to us and others are relatively ephemeral and unimportant to us. 
So why do we pay so much attention to things like the news cycle and social media, which will be gone within minutes or hours or days? Why do we, when sitting next to a person who we plan to share years of our life with, do we instead scroll on our phones? Why, when building a career that we want to span our working years, why do we choose instead to fill our days with status meeting and minutia? Why do we choose the quick hit of dopamine that buying some bauble online brings when we know the much greater value of saving that money for the future. There's a story of Martha and Mary in the Bible that provides a vivid illustration of this sort of distraction versus attention idea. You see, Martha's busy. She's hosting a bunch of people at their home, including Jesus and some of his closest followers. She's got food to prepare and drinks to pour. Somebody spilled something and she's got to clean it up before bugs come up to it. And, and she's got to run to the well to get some more water. And she's distracted. She's got a list of tasks. Yet Jesus is in the next room. He's talking about how to live an amazing life. He's, he's just told them about the Good Samaritan, a term known by plenty of people who don't even have any idea about the story. Do me a favor. Go look it up. It's in Luke chapter 10. Martha's sister Mary chooses to focus on being present with Jesus. Martha complains. Jesus tells her that only a few things are really necessary. In fact, he concludes really only one is important. That's what Mary chose. And Jesus won't tell her to go help her sister. Mary's doing something lasting, something that really matters. So how do we do this whole focus on what matters most thing? There's only one real answer, practice. To me, it looks like this. Remember that some things, and yes, some people, are more important to me than others. So from time to time, I spend an hour thinking about what matters most. I know what matters, and I realize what matters most and realize that that might not be the same for you as for somebody else. Make sure that you have some time to spend on what matters. Here's an example, personally. I've given up watching TV and movies, mostly. I just have the occasional binge. Keeping up with the latest show isn't as important to me as other things. So I've left it behind, mostly. That frees up time to either spend on what matters or to waste. And so the practice comes in. I know what's more important and what's less important. And I simply need to be self-aware enough to realize when I'm spending time on the bottom of the list rather than on the top of the list. Notice I'm not doing what's most productive or what others expect of me, right? It's important to me to spend time with family. And so I spend time talking to my brother about soccer or to my sons about their work and their school or to my daughters about their plans or to my wife, just about anything. Often it's about the family. Notice I'm not doing what produces the most value, right? I'm busy. I work a lot. I go to school, but I'm not always doing what's most profitable or valuable by some external criteria. I'm trying to spend time on what matters most to me and what I believe are the most important things and people and plans. I'm trying to pay attention where it really matters. And I hope that you can too. Mm -hmm.